Yeah. Well, yesterday, Mr. Speaker, we saw Liberals engage in a game of smoke and mirrors. On one hand, they're banning handguns. On the other hand, they're pushing through Bill C-5, which tells criminals, don't worry. If you're convicted of a gun crime, you just hang out at home for your sentence. This is not keeping communities safe, and it is not reassuring to moms and dads who are worried about their kids. So, will the Prime Minister get serious about keeping vulnerable communities safe, scrap Bill C-5, and legislate tough penalties for gun criminals? Honourable Prime Minister. It's absolutely true that we move forward to present legislation that once passed will make it no longer legal to buy, sell, transfer or import handguns anywhere in Canada. At the same time, Mr. Speaker, the Bill 25, the legislation does not stop police from charging people with gun offences or prosecutors from pursuing convictions. What it does do is make sure criminals face serious penalties while addressing the over-representation of black Canadians and Indigenous peoples in the criminal justice system. Here, here. Right. Of the opposition. I'm a mom, and I know all of us want our kids safe in their schools and in their communities. That's why I'm so frustrated with what these Liberals are doing. They're banning guns and then when the criminals ignore their gun ban and use the guns to rob someone or commit a carjacking, the Liberals are letting these gun criminals do their time at home. How can the Prime Minister claim to be keeping people safe when he refuses to have jail time for violent criminals who ignore his useless gun bans and are hurting and terrorizing our children? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, our criminal justice reform legislation turns the page on failed conservative policies that ignored systemic racism and discrimination. What our communities need is a justice system that punishes criminals. What we don't need is a system that targets racialized people because of systemic discrimination or sends people to prison because they struggle with addiction. This bill is another step forward to create a system that is fair, effective and keeps Canadians safe.